Hi friends! I hope you're doing wonderful. So you might be asking yourself, why does it look like Chrissy's in a bathrobe? And it's because I am. I just got out of a hot bath because I am trying a new therapy for my PCOS that I want to share with you. So the study came out. I follow um, this PCOS guru. She's also a doctor. But the study came out that she shared and I just loved it. I already love hot baths. I do my self-care Sunday, um, but I'm gonna be trying this, doing the hot therapy more times throughout the week than what, you know, just once a day. So I'm gonna read you a little bit of this article. Polycystic ovarian syndrome increases women's risk for obesity insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. A hot soak, also known as passive hot water immersion, has been shown to help improve glucose control, potentially by enha enhancing insulin sensitivity. In order to study this phenomenon, the researchers chose to look at women with polycystic ovary, ovary syndrome, PCOS which is a complex endocrine disorder with the common feature of high risk of obesity and insulin resistance, which in turn increases the incidence of type 2 diabetes. This affects 10% of women in their reproductive years. That's me. Um, PCOS can also cause effects among others such as excessive hair growth, which I've shared with you how I used to get made fun of in high school because I had a mustache um, and so luckily my hair does grow faster so I guess that's a plus for me um, but I do have constant issues with hair on my face um, but it also can cause fertility issues um, a high testosterone level, irregular menstrual cycles, ovarian cysts, sleep apnea, um, some other things that aren't added to the list is it can um, cause heart disease, it can cause um, problems with moods, it can uh, decrease your energy levels. So many of my sisters, get it, sisters, sisters, um, we have constant issues with energy. Um, so there's a lot more um, issues that PCOS can cause that are not listed um, here, but that's okay um, because there's so many of them, um, you know, and thankfully I don't have all of them. Um, I'm super thankful for that. I am high risk for type 2 diabetes and I'm so thankful that I've, you know, not had to worry about that so far. So far. Um, but so what they're saying, let's see, so um, Funded by the American Heart Association and the University of Oregon's Eugene, the small study looked at six obese women with PCOS who soaked for one hour in a hot tub three or four times per week for about two months. The temperature was kept at around 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The women sat submerged up to the neck until it was ascertained that they had increased their body temperature by one degree Celsius. Once that occurred, they sat up and kept half their body out of the water for the remainder of the session. Measuring the impact of hot tub use on health markers like blood pressure and heart rate. At the end of two months, researchers found reduced insulin resistance in fat cell biopsies from these women and reduced blood pressure and heart rate, among other health improvements. Some of the participants so participants also reported having regular menstrual cycles and clear skin, which the high te testosterone can lead to acne for those of us who have PCOS. Um, so uh, also hot water immersion may help calm inflammation, which is why I tried to do that um, on my self-care Sundays. Uh, and, you know, in any time that I've had, like, issues with a cyst or a cyst structure, I have found it comforting to sit in a hot tub. And so it's good to know that that really does, like, help more than just relieve the pain. Um, but, yeah, so it's it's helped, it's known to help calm inflammation. Um, 
So Brett Romano Ellie, a doc doctoral candidate in the University of Oregon's Department of Human Physiology, conducted the study and presented the findings during the experimental biology meeting at the American Physiological Society's 2018 conference this week. She hy hypothesizes that the heat exposure reversed some of the fat inflammation that may be causing the meta metabolic health problems such as type 2 diabetes. Uh, she also, well, she, um, she or he, I don't know, I'm, I'm just saying that, I don't, let's see, oh, I think it's a he, Brett, I don't know, Brett could be a girl too. Either way, Eli points to two agents behind these changes. One, the tub soak caused the body to release heat shock proteins, proteins expressed in cells in response to stresses to the heart from hypoxia and exercise, which can lower inflammation and improve insulin. Um, insulin signaling, the mechanism through which insulin regulates glucose uptake in fat and muscle cells. By the way, I might not be saying some of these words right because I am not a medical expert and so some words I just don't know how to say. Anyway, number two, the heat caused the body to respond in much the same way as it does to cardio cardiovascular exercise in terms of the dilation of the blood vessels. Blood flow goes to the skin and the increase of blood flow patterns look similar to what happens during cardio exercise. However, don't substitute tub soaks for exercise. You still need to get exercise, especially my sisters out there who are watching this. Um, but the two can complement each other therapeutically. Hot tub therapy may also help obese women without PCOS. So I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna read that because this is specific to PCOS, but I will uh, link Put the link to this article down below so that way you can read whether you have PCOS or you don't read uh, or don't have PCOS. And so I just wanted to share that with you. And I started today, which is why I'm in my robe. And I just, you know, Tuesday Tea with Chrissy is about authenticity. And so I wanted you guys to see that I am doing this so that way you can help me um, hold me accountable and make sure that I am doing this. So if you are my friend, please ask me um, as much as you'd like, did you take your hot tub therapy today or do your hot tub therapy today? I don't have a hot tub, but I have a tub and you can use your bathtub, just um, have hot water. And so I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it goes, girls. I am. Um, anytime I get any kind of possible good news that can help with symptoms or even, um, you know, just helping with the issue itself, I just completely love because I am on a mission to get completely better, to reverse PCOS, um, to get natural healing, um, and to just know more about my body. And so to me, to like hear all of that stuff about what a hot bath or sitting in a hot tub can do um, is amazing to me, you know? Like, I, it, I just love learning about our bodies and about these natural things that we can do to help heal us because it's not, uh, we can't always just have medicine thrown down our throat, right? Like, that's not healthy, it's not good, it's just, it's not what I wanna do um, to get better from any kind of illness and especially my PCOS. So, you know, many of you know, Darren and I are on the road to start a family. And so if this can help um, make my menstrual cycles regular, I will, I'm all in, I'll do it because I'm in, on a mission to be a mommy, to get pregnant, and I'm looking for the healthiest, most natural way to do that. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have PCOS, comment below and let me know if you're going to try this and how often you'll be doing your baths. I am going to be trying to do at least every other day. Um, if I can throw in it every day, I will because they're relaxing. And hey, I'm all in. Talk to y'all later. Bye.